Hi, everybody. Um, Sean Colburn. Um, first of all, I would, I would like to address one thing that I don't believe that I heard stated. As far as um, the timelines for the police audit, I would like to recommend that we go back. Uh, some A previous speaker had mentioned as far as 2018. I think if, if you look back at the, um, the Mass Peace Officers standard, the Post Training Commission was established as part of the criminal justice system reform to improve policing and enhance public confidence in law enforcement by implementing a fair process for mandatory certification, discipline, and training for all officers in the Commonwealth. The post database of sustained allegations and disciplinary actions shows one disciplinary action reported by the Canton Police Department for the last 24 years. That is very eye-opening and troubling. I, I mean, if you look at the neighboring cities and towns, Stoughton had approximately 30, Randolph had approximately 17, Sharon had approximately seven, Milton had approximately 22. There was one report filed in the Canton Police Department and that report was filed while the person was a Boston police officer that had transferred to the Canton Police Department. If you go back to 2007, there was a, a lawsuit settled in the Lo Palato case by one of our officers that has been promoted twice since then. And there was an out of, out of court settlement for close to $300,000. And it's not even listed in the post reports. We have to go back as far as it takes to give this community some sense of trust and transparency. And I ask you gentlemen and you ladies to please, please help us. Thank you.